Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Picking up here uh, right after our last episode actually. It is 4.40pm on the 17th, so this uh, should be the 7th day of our survival attempt with Mr. Gerald Richardson. Expecting there to be a helicopter today, in today's episode. So we're going to be on our toes, ready to get out of here at a moment's notice. We do have our car that we picked up in the last episode. Hopefully there's enough gas in there for us to uh, last through the helicopter event and drag zombies away from our house. I'm just killing a little, little bit of time here, uh, waiting for the next uh, TV show to start, which will be on in about an hour. So we're just kind of clearing up some zombies uh, around our peripheral neighborhood area. This end looks pretty good. So what we might do is check the backyards here. We could even take this barbecue over to our place. That may not be a bad idea. You know what, let's do that. Let's remove the propane tank. Let's pick this up. And let's put, uh, propane tank's gonna be too heavy for our backpacks, so we'll just put it in our main inventory. And we will. Actually, this can go in our bag. I'll free up a little bit of space and we won't kill ourselves too much with the heavy load, although that is still pretty heavy. No, we only need to go next door. And I think we'll just put this in our backyard. Yeah, I probably did need to put that in that backpack, <laughs> seeing as it was not very far to go. And it actually won't let us take it out, so we will have to put that on the ground first, then unpack this. Yeah, I think that ended up being a lot longer than it needed to be. Oh well. We are trying to heal time, after all. Uh, so we'll just put this, um, you know what, let's put it right by the door there. That looks good. Right by the window. And we'll install this propane tank. I don't believe we've had any rain yet in this first week. So no rain in our cooking pots as of yet. Close that. And let's head upstairs to the TV. We'll catch our show. And we'll have to think about going to bed. I have had some suggestions that we should hit up the school or the... Uh, supermarket today and if the helicopter doesn't come I think that's what our plan will be checking those two locations out the school we could find uh, some better bags go ahead and read this the uh, grocery store of course find some good food stock up our supplies and what are we learning today is this another trapping show uh, where did you find all this stuff? You're in the middle of nowhere, but you've got cool gear. Maybe this is foraging. Let's see what the uh, show is here. My guess is foraging. Uh, Paperclip uh, on me at all times. So I don't know. Is this fishing? Second is foraging. There we go. So I think this is foraging. Let's open up our skills and we shall see. It does look like this is foraging. Working our way to level one. And we'll get that quite easily. And we'll take whatever else we can get. Our mechanic book, we're just over halfway through our beginners. So we got a nice little boost there once we get some more car tools. All we have right now is the wrench. Once we get some more though, we'll be able to uh, continue or actually start dismantling stuff. And this advanced book Let's put this away, because I don't need to be carrying that around. I've already got an advanced book in here. I'll show you quickly here. I did start writing in our notebook here. So we've got a page for helicopters. We're going to start tracking helicopter events. And then I've started tracking which books we still need. So I've listed out all the books that we need. Whenever we hit up a library, we'll just pull out our little notebook here. And we can start uh, marking off the books as we pick them up. That's the plan anyway. Alright, we got a little bit of time until nightfall. 
I do want to head out to uh, either the school or the supermarket. I'm gonna guess the supermarket because that'll be closer. I've also turned down the heartbeat volume. Uh, so hopefully we've got a good uh, compromise here. You can still hear it, but it's not overwhelming. It does sound like it's at the very least under the uh, under the music volume. So let me know what you yeah think down in the comments. If it's a good medium, or if we should turn it up again, keep turning it down. Open to your suggestions as always. Well, we don't have very many zombies uh, around these homes, uh, which is good. We have not searched these ones on the right yet. Go into our sneak, and the school is right here. So maybe we're going to end up at the school first instead of the supermarket. Backpacks will spawn in the lockers. So if we can find the main hallway, I guess that's where we'd be starting this endeavor. I think this first door will be far enough away from the group that they shouldn't see us. Those other two might be a little bit more risky. We got our hammer equipped as our primary weapon today. Unfortunately, that is locked. And we do have a zombie that hurt us. Jiggle the doorknob. And they are knocking in return. Up and over the fence. What do we got at the back? Some zombies by that door. We might be able to check these though. I am not sure of the layout of this school. I have not played in Riverside all that much. Not that familiar. Uh, no windows are broken yet. They're not even knocking on doors or windows out there. So we'll go around to the other side of the building. See what we got over here. There's the parking lot with a couple cars. Of course, this is the uh, parking lot we grabbed our car from, right? I don't think there'll be a door on this side. Probably just windows. Oh, oh, there is a door, and it is broken. And that is one of the main hallways with the lockers. Okay, so that's a tall fence. We don't have to worry about zombies coming over there. But they do have a broken window there as well. They may try and path find their way through there to us and I did see one go in they may be trying to do that we have one knocking we can see a little bit way down the hallway see a few more zombies there oh there we go got a good view now quite a few zombies in there yeah and this one did come from the parking lot so he did pathfind his way over here Oh wow, he went down fast. <laughs> went down in a hurry. Alright, got some clothing there. Not that we really need. So tonight we can just maybe focus on killing some of these zombies and then try and get in there tomorrow. I feel like we are running the risk of having helicopter event while we're sleeping there are quite a few in the hallway the uh, the last of the zombies from the parking lot has just gone through the window and here they come yeah they are making their way towards us so let's do this we got three of them out here following us. We'll lead them to this side. We'll hop the fence and then go around. Just give us enough time for a failed attempt at getting over that. 
And we'll see what they end up doing. They're probably going to go back to the school door now. Maybe there's another way for us to get in to a less populated section of the school. And this main hallway might be a viable option. And one of the doors is open. We got a uh, an officer of the law down there. No lockers over here though. We'll check these vending machines. Take that stuff. Actually, we are a bit hungry, so let's go ahead and eat these chips. And let's have a cigarette as well. Where's the library? Is that this room here? Nope, it is not. It looks like it might just be the uh, front office. But if we can find a library and it's relatively vacant, it might be a, an option for us to check out. Got the teacher's lounge. Let's go ahead and we'll eat that. Nothing else here that we want. My guess is these are bathrooms. Yep. So I think we can skip past those. And what's this room? Storage? Yep. Uh, not much here. There's a hammer. And a candle. Take a peek down. Oh, I guess this is the library right here. Probably should have seen that before. Let's take a look upstairs. We'll just have to be careful and get ready to run downstairs if there's a lot up here. But uh, not seeing any. So let's sneak around. We're quite tired. We may be able to risk sleeping in a classroom for the night. Is it just the one in there? I think it's just the one. No, it is two. Okay. Let's just check some lockers then. I don't think it's a good idea to stay in here. If the second floor was a little bit empty, we might attempt to. Got zombies in there as well. Dismantle that. No backpacks though. A lot of pens and pencils. And headphones. Okay, so we did have one of the doors break. Let's probably... Oh, no, maybe it was one downstairs. I think we should get out of here. Oh, yeah, there, there it goes. All right, they have not... Oh, no, that guy did see us. I think we should get out of here, though. Got the uh, key, though for the school. Yeah, okay, that's too many. Two in a dark hallway, not a good idea. Let's get downstairs and let's get back home. Too much to risk. This tired and this dark outside. I think we'll go through... Uh, maybe we'll go around this way. a little less uh, active over here. Yeah. So unfortunately we didn't find a bag in those lockers. 
We will come back to check the rest, though. Let's just get home for now. So we can sleep. This group has moved down away from the school. Oh, I think we're just going to run from here and we'll lose them on the way home. Should be fast enough not to cause ourselves too much of a headache for zombies following us back. Coming up 11 p.m. Quite tired. A little bit of a wind chill. 10 degrees cooler than it actually is. And I think we are home free, so I'll get to bed. We'll come back first thing in the morning or as soon as we wake up. And we'll head back to the school, continue taking a look through there. And there we go. Woke up at our alarm. Catch our morning program. Slowly continue reading our mechanic book. Open up our skills. See what we get to learn today. Some more cooking. The new Churn R Us Deluxe Ice Cream? Oh no, there we go, just a commercial. Uh, you've also said not to fast forward through these, uh, so you might get less experience than you possibly could. Chicken noodle soup is on the menu today. So we might get level 3 cooking. I'm so tempted to fast forward, but I guess we gotta just uh, sit through the whole thing here. We need some cooked chicken, of course. Broil, fry, bake, your choice. And you get yourself a pot of water. Seems simple enough. Pick up a bit of a chill here. Must be a pretty cool day out there. Put in some veggies. Yeah, we're very close to level three. Soup fixes everything. Don't forget those dry ramen noodles. I don't think I've actually made chicken noodle soup in this game. You'd have to make it pretty early on uh, if you were to find some chicken, right? Some frozen chicken. Oh, not quite. So close. All right. We'll take it. Once we get our cooking skill high enough, we will be able to use rotten ingredients in our recipes. Which obviously will come in handy late game. Uh, after the power goes off, it could be early game, power could go off at any time here, but once food starts going rotten, uh, we will be able to continue using that once our cooking skill is high enough. I think it's level 7 or 8 you need. You don't get as much nutritional value out of the ingredients when they're rotten, which makes sense, but it is kind of nice to have that, that option. To put that stuff in there. You know what? I'm going to have a cigarette before our anxiety kicks in. And we got quite a few zombies milling about over there. We'll probably be one group we want to start taking care of. That's uh, quite a few over there. For now, though, we'll just run past them. And let's take a look at these back doors. That one is broken now. So I think we may try and enter through this direction as long as that group doesn't follow us all the way, which it looks like they might. In that case, we might want to hop this fence. Just so they don't follow us all the way. Actually, they, they did stop. Although this one may be coming towards us. I 
If they kept coming, I would take the uh, the playground route. Since they stopped, for the most part, let's kill this one. And we'll try this door. That police officer that was inside the school, I think we'll want to take him out. So we can get ourselves a holster, perhaps. And start carrying a pistol around. We do need to check these garbage bins as well. That group is still in the area, but uh, has moved over. We got two in the hallway there. Let's see if we can find any garbage bags. Oh, just some pens and pencils. Yeah, they're pretty big groups. All right. We'll drag these out. Sticking with the hammer, we're gonna try and save the durability on our hand axe, since it's the only axe we have. Although apparently we can also use the butcher uh, knife that we have, the cleaver. Oh, and this one's come up. Good hit. We must be getting close to leveling up our blunt skill. Where is our short blunt? Uh, only about halfway. What's higher here? Oh, our maintenance skill is get, getting up there to level one. That's good. All right, here comes this one. Looks like Moby. <laughs> A pale, bald-headed man wearing glasses. Okay. So we'll take care of the hallways first. Uh, we'll see if that police officer is still around the corner. And we got some knocking on this door already. Oh, okay. Let's get out of there. That wasn't good. This looks like it might be a ranger. Yeah. Um... Let's hop over. This could be one to try get through the fence. Nope. They've decided that there's a better way to get to me. And by just flailing at the fence. Well, while they're busy trying to pathfind. We'll do some more minor zombie killing. Okay, so if they've gone back in the school, they're probably gonna try and come out that window, would be my guess. So if we head back over here now, we should be able to go in behind them and hopefully they've walked down the hall and have gone to the left. Or maybe they're knocking on other doors now. Oh, one is right here. The ranger. Broken door. Butter knife. Oh no, wrong zombie there. There we go, ranger pants and ranger shirt. I don't think we'll take either. And a Mrs. Moby. <laughs> Looks like the same zombie model. Oh, that worked out. That worked out quite well. Now the insulation on these pants aren't too bad. You know what? I'm going to pick them up. The protection isn't as good as ours. But that's uh, some pretty good insulation for pants. Oh, no, never mind. They did not go where I thought they would go. They just hung out in the hall. We're 
regardless. We shall take care of him. Nope, maybe not. Back to the fence. Oh, this guy is, uh, does he have a bandage on his hand? I think that's one of the new um, additions they added. Well, his visible bandages on zombies. And this guy does look like he has one on his hand. A cool addition. See how many more are left in that hallway. That group is still hanging out pretty close, though, to these doors. Alright, what's this first room? Locker room? Okay, well, there might be lockers in here. Nope, just a zombie. Every zombie we kill, there's one less we don't have respawn on. So every zombie is progress. Oh, that's a wall there. Just keep an eye on this big group. Okay, they've actually moved a little bit further away. That's good. And we got a zombie here with something in their arm. Some sort of knife, maybe a butter knife. It's got a black handle though. It could be a kitchen knife. Come on. I uh, know it is a butter knife. This one is glitching out a bit on the wall. We got the nurse's office beside us. Ooh, teacher is packing. All right, that's a lot of that's a lot of banging. That group is away. Oh, uh, we do need to rest for a moment. Kitchen. Let's grab stuff from here quickly. Uh, rolling pin we will need. Alright, that didn't sound good. I think we move out at that point. Hearing some more zombie groans. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm getting a bad feeling about pushing further in, so I'm going to heed that warning, that feeling. I'm going to fall back here. Still no helicopter. We'll take it. And I am going to have a quick rest here. Catch our breath for a moment. Uh, it's actually about time for us to head towards a house for our show. So, let's take this moment to maybe go to this house. That one's dead. As long as we haven't dismantled, nope, the TV is still on in here. Make sure there's no zombies here. I don't think there are. Okay. Um, we've been here, so we probably looted it, hey? This is one of those engineer houses, I think. Where we found the remotes. So let's just have a seat. 
Uh, nothing really to eat right now. That's fine. We'll just continue reading this and we'll wait for our show. I'll just swivel around so I can see that entrance a bit better. And we'll just fast forward till noon. And we'll start watching our show here. This should be the carpentry show. I think the carpentry show is always at noon. I think cooking's always in the morning. And we're halfway, almost halfway to level three. So maybe we can get level three today. Old English, Renaissance pizza, cheddar cheese, black pudding, egg and bacon. Is this not our cooking show? Or is this just a commercial? I think this is just a commercial. What are they going to teach us here? Or is it just going to be commercials? $49.99 plus postage and packaging. Yeah, we're already at the end of a, a program length here. Looks like it's just commercials, unless I'm on the wrong channel. No, I'm on Life and Living. Damn it. No show today. Hmm. That might mean that we're at the end of the available shows. Hey, okay. let's fill up our water while we're here. Get that done at the very least. And time for our afternoon smoke. Well, we got a fair amount of free skill points just from watching shows this season so far. I'm happy with that. It would have taken us a lot longer to get these uh, skills to where they are in our crafting and survivalist uh, than just a week. So I think we can be happy there. We'll still continue to tune in at least for the next couple days in case there's any last shows but definitely was not one today at noon Ooh, that was close this guy's got a bandage on his arm Now, he came from behind us, our key for the school. Let's check this big group out here. They're still there, so they're still far enough away. Oh, I hit those two saws. That's a lot of zombies there. Yeah, I'm gonna hop the fence. Uh, I was just pushing. <laughs> That's not good. Not what we want. Oh, can I not jump maybe when I'm crouched? What am I doing? I oh, know I'm <laughs> using the wrong key. Why am I using space? There we go. that one yeah and now we're a little bit tired so starting to struggle going over top I would like to get back to some of those um, lockers though not sure how we're gonna do that it's taking a quite the effort just to get past this hallway. Last thing I want is that whole group to come in to this door behind us while we're in here. We have not checked this change room. 
Uh, no lockers in there, because I assume since there was no lockers in here. But there could be some zombies hanging out. So it'd be good just to check. I don't see any. So the nurse's office. Might be worth a look to see if we can find another suture needle. And all the knocking. All right, we got more, more coming. So I think we got to back off. And we're quite hungry. Maybe we should be going home. Or maybe we run over to the supermarket from here. Let's attempt checking out the supermarket. Uh, we got a couple dead zombies, a couple dead survivors in here. Might be uh, some ammo or weapons on them that might be useful. Yeah, there's an M9. Let's just pick it up for now. We'll worry about magazines later. Hunter, we've read. Engineer, we've read. Angler, we have not read. Grab the magazines and the newspaper. Nothing on them. Let's check the kitchen. Kitchen knife. We'll grab that. Our bowl will take. TV dinner. Juice box. Let's go ahead and drink that. Paper clip. I guess we could use it for fishing. If we're desperate. Oh. Pick that up. Painkillers, some more bleach for cleaning out blood. Take a look for backpacks. Nope. Oh, and that is a big group. <laughs> Back into the house. You know what? We're carrying a pretty heavy load here. I think we go home at this stage. We go home, we drop stuff off, we eat, regather ourselves, and we can head back out. Or at the very least, check some of these homes. Um, let's go around this house. Still looking for a riverside map so we can start marking off locations. In the meantime, it might be handy to start tracking some stuff in our notebook regarding what neighborhoods we've searched. Although that might be kind of difficult. I'm sure I'd forget my note, what it means. Maybe we'll just wait for the map for that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get home. Uh, I'll rest up, I'll drop stuff off, I'll eat. And we might have a, a short nap, because we are a little bit drowsy. And we'll pick up and we'll finish off at the Gigamart. All right, it's uh, just before 6 p.m. We're going to see if this show turns on. Uh, actually, it looks like it is. This one's on, at least. Exposure Survival. Okay, so we are going to get a few more XP out of our shows. Uh, we'll go back to our skills, and we're going to see what we get today. Uh, when the sky stops providing, I'm talking rain, guys. Storing rain or water. It's vital to survival. Or is this carpentry for rain barrel collectors? Looks like it might be. So carpentry is just a little bit later in the day today. All right, well, we're going to try and get our level three carpentry. That'll unlock uh, a few recipes for us and get us closer to some of our uh, more needed recipes. Taking a look at our carpentry, 
to actually do rainbow collectors, uh, we will need level four. So this will get us very close to that. So that's great. And oh no, it's still got a ways to go. So uh, we didn't quite get to uh, level three, but uh, a good, a good start nonetheless. And I think we're just in a commercial now. I think we can move on with our evening. Get to the Gigamart. Yep. So let's put that away. And we are a bit drowsy. Uh, before we head out, let's grab some vitamins. We got seven bottles here, so we might as well start using them. Uh, or even better yet, we have... We can make some coffee, right? So I do have some coffee that we picked up from the school. I hope I look in the right box. Uh, yeah, we got two coffee here. So let's grab that. And I think we picked up some sugar as well. Didn't we? No, maybe no sugar. Can we make coffee without sugar? I thought we picked up sugar. Do we even have a mug? We should have a mug. I thought we picked up a mug. Let's check over here. I dropped some random stuff in there, but no. Uh, let's go downstairs. Do we have a mug anywhere? Maybe not. No, we don't have a mug. Okay, never mind. Well, we're going out the back door this time. Oh, we still need to check this car too. Oh, so many things to do. Up and over. I hear some zombies over in this direction though, so. Or maybe in the burnt out house. If we head up to this end of, yeah, there's one there. We'll check it out at some point. Uh, we'll head up to this end of the gated neighborhood. And then we'll hop over the last fence. That'll put us closer to the Gigamart, but we have quite a few zombies over here. Let's be a bit careful. Survivor house still intact from the looks of it. Has not been breached yet. Oh no, there is a broken window there. Oh, and this one's actually uh, barricaded as well. Two survivor houses next door to each other. I did not notice that before. Yeah, we got quite a few zombies here. Uh, I'm just going to scoot right through the middle. And I do have a radio here. I may attempt to try and put that down in the parking lot somewhere. Let's place that right here. We can always turn it on later. Yeah, let's turn it on later. We will have a radio there. Oh, and the Gigamart looks a little congested. Might not be viable for us to get in there right now. Yeah, quite a bit of zombie clearing to do here. If we were to attempt to get in there. I don't think that that's possible right now. So let's move up through this parking lot. We have a McCoy logging trek here. It'll be worth a, a peek inside if it's unlocked. It is. There is a key in there, there is gas. Okay. Let's keep that in mind. That could be a good replacement for our car. Nothing in the trunk. I was hoping for a saw. 
Getting a little bit anxious again. Uh, let's continue eating our vitamins here. Try to wake up a bit. I believe I'm heading towards the hardware store that's in town. So we'll see how that looks. Yeah, I think it's in these uh, grouping of shops up here. So we got rid of some of our tiredness. Uh, we'll go through the rest of this bottle. Uh, no one's following us. Let's stop for a moment and we'll finish taking this bottle. Got rid of one more level of tiredness there. That should be the last of that. We'll have a cigarette. So I want to say it's the middle one. Oh, oh, and we have... Does that zombie have a backpack? Looks like he has a duffel bag. Or no. No, never mind. It was just this guy's hair. <laughs> just the way they were positioned. Looks like he had a duffel bag on his back. But it is a ranger, so... Potential for a... <laughs> A holster. Can you see the holsters on the the zombie bodies? Not sure if you can or not. All right, I could see through that window for a moment. Let's see if we can clear these ones out. We got. Four here, total one coming towards us. Doable. And is that our, uh, whatchamacallit? Yes, no, yes, our maintenance. Right on. Lightfooted, getting close to level 2. Sneaking, also getting close to level 2. Gotta get this guy's attention. He's got a bandage on his head. Oh, damn it. We got both of their attention. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, we do have this building. We may want to try and spin around that. Uh, it's a laundromat. Yeah, so let's drag them down here. And let's go around this building. Wait here for a moment. Okay, good. With it being this dark out, uh, they shouldn't be able to see us. Yeah, they did lose interest pretty fast there, so that's good. We got one left here. And is this the hardware store? That looks like it might be a hardware store. Okay, we got two inside. Good. Let's take a look at what this is next door. That looks like it's just an office. Doesn't look like there's anything of interest in there. And then next to that, this looks like it must be a clothing store. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine with the clothes that we have right now. Um... The only thing that uh, is kind of low condition is our deputy jacket. The rest of this though, yeah, is all looking really good condition wise. And we're not gonna find a uh, deputy jacket of higher quality in there. I'm gonna take a look around the corner. Does not look like we have any zombies over there, so we could wait for them to either break this door or we could try and break a window and lure them out that way
Let's try that. Not sure if that'll get their attention. Oh, one did come out. Good. A fellow ber beret wearer. A zombie of fashion. In general, though, I've noticed that there's a lot more black clothing on zombies. Well, I guess that's dark green. It's a black beret, though. You know what? I'm going to replace our brown beret with a black beret. That looks a little bit more badass. Just check if that's open. It's not. I don't see any other zombies in there, so we're going to risk it. We're going to go in. And we're going to get us a saw and some axes. And some fishing line. Uh, fishing rod. Scrap metal. Welder's mask. Tape. There's our money. Give us our money. More fishing gear. Nails. Uh, pipe wrench. Club hammer. We've read that. Master Mechanics. I think that's one that we need. Let's check our notebook here. Find our Mechanics. Metalworking. Mechanic. We do need Master, so let's grab that. Ah, Machete. Alright. Now we're talking. Let's replace our paddle. And I'm, uh, I'm fine getting rid of the paddle. We got both a wood axe and a fire axe. Let's take the wood axe. We'll see if there's a higher quality fire axe. There should be. Another screwdriver will take. A hand fork, that'll be good for gardening. That'll allow us to actually start digging. More scrap metal, we can come back for these metal sheets later. Uh, I'm gonna pick up these pegs and tarp. We'll see if we can build ourselves a tent kit. One more tent peg will do it. There's our saw. Duct tape. More scrap. Put that to the side. A hunting knife. Nice. Not a high quality one, but all the same. Another sod, so we don't need that. Um, another wood axe, very low quality. Fishing tackle. I'm hearing some zombies outside, so we should make this quick. There's a good axe. Wood glue. Another hunting knife. Another hand axe. Uh, we're carrying a very heavy load now, so we will have to head back. Uh, another axe. Uh, I will try and grab that so we have a backup. So now we have three axes and two hand axes. Take these screwdrivers for future spears. More nails. More scrap. And mechanic for intermediate. We do need that one too. Okay, so let's grab that. Good, good, good. Okay, so we got our, um, if we unpack a pencil or a pen, we'll be able to edit this. Right. So we got our master, we'll take that off our list. We got our intermediate. Just looking for expert mechanic now, okay. And no back room. Now we get to head home. So there's still some metalworking stuff to come back for there. It'll be a little 
little bit careful going home since we're carrying such a heavy load. Uh, we can still run though, so that's good. We're not exhausted at all. This is why we need better bags for better weight reduction. I think that'll do it for today, guys. I should be able to get back home. Wish me luck. We'll call it here for now. Um, we could actually, you know what? Let's drive this car home. It's got the keys, it's got gas. Looks like it's in really good condition. Let's take this home. Just be careful not to smash it up too much. Save us some time. Uh, we'll take the long way. Past the school. Go down one more block to our street. Woo! Careful. Past the hordes. park this one here as well okay so we have two options for getaway vehicles we'll see uh, how many of those zombies continue to follow the truck down that'll do it for today thanks a lot for watching thanks for tuning in for another episode of project zomboid here on the Nomus place channel again to any new viewers feel free to hit that like button subscribe leave your comments down below I may not always reply to the comments. I do read them all. Uh, and I am always appreciative of the support you guys give to the channel and the suggestions you leave down there. So keep them coming. Until next time, I'll talk to you all later.